Hi, in this video we're going to derive the quadratic formula. So the quadratic formula is a formula that gives you solutions to this equation. ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero, and a is not zero. And so when you have this equation and a is not zero, the quadratic formula tells you that the solutions are x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So we're going to come up with this formula from this equation using this condition. So I'm going to start by basically writing down the equation again. So ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. And since a is not 0, what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide everything by a. So I'll divide this by a, divide this by a, divide this by a, divide this by a. These cancel, so we get x squared plus b over a times x plus c over a equals, and then 0 over a is 0. And the reason I divide it by a is because I'm going to try to complete the square, and when you're completing the square, you want to make sure that the coefficient of x squared is 1. So that's why we divided everything by a. The next thing I'm going to do is subtract this over to the other side. So minus c over a, minus c over a. Those cancel. So we have x squared plus b over a times x equals minus c over a. And when you're completing the square, you basically take the coefficient of x, divide it by 2, and square it. Since we have a fraction, instead of dividing by 2, I'm going to multiply by 1 half. So I'm going to do it up here. So we have 1 half times b over a, and we're going to square it. So that's b over 2a, and we're going to square it. So that's going to be b squared. Square the 2, you get 4. Square the a, you get a squared. So I'm going to add this to both sides. So we have x squared plus b over a times x plus b squared over 4a squared equals b squared over 4a squared minus c over a. Okay. And this is called a perfect square trinomial. Whenever you do this process of adding this expression to this quantity here, you are completing the square. So this factors, it's always x, and then you just take this and divide it by 2, or multiply it by 1 half, and you keep the sign. So it'll be b over 2a squared equals, and then we have this expression here. So here, in order to subtract these, we want a common denominator, which is going to be 4a squared. So here we're missing an a, we're missing a 4, so I'm going to multiply by 4a over 4a. Basically we're multiplying by 1, so that the denominators are the same. So it'll be b squared over 4a squared minus 4ac, I'm going to write it that way, over 4a squared. And I'm writing it that way because in the formula there's a 4ac, right? So just have a little foresight. It's, I'm having some foresight so that I know, you have to know where you're going before you get there, so. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and write this under one fraction, x plus b over 2a squared equals, now we have the same denominator, so this is b squared minus 4ac all over 4a squared. Now we'll take the square root of both sides. When we do that, we're gonna get a plus or minus here, and we're gonna get a plus or minus here from the a squared, so we're just gonna get one plus or minus, so x, plus b over 2a is equal to plus or minus, okay, the square root, of, I'm going to break it up into two square roots, b squared minus 4ac over, and then square root of 4 is 2. Square root of a squared is going to give us a plus or minus a, but we already have the plus or minus, so 2a. Now we'll subtract this over, so we get x equals negative b over 2a plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And typically people write it as a single fraction, so it would be negative b plus or minus the square root b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And that's the familiar quadratic formula that you usually learn in, in class in high school or college or whatever. So yeah, pretty, pretty, um, not, not so difficult. You do have to know how to complete the square. You have to know some math, obviously. You have to know some algebra, but I just thought I'd make a little video just to show you how to come up with the quadratic formula in case you've never seen it. Good luck.